before I actually pull up Grace, I am going to show you what our next giveaway is going to be. So let's just take a peek at this. And they're going to be doing True Cut here in just a moment. But the lucky winner is going to get the Quilters Combo. And they're going to show more of what this is. But the Quilters Combo, as well as an eight-pack of the Finesse Thread. This is a high-quality quilting thread. So I think we are just about ready to get started. Brian, did I miss anything or we needing to do <laughs> anything in particular no, before I, we get started think, for the day? I think you covered it all. And I think Melinda and Allegra are ready for us. Sweet. And it's going to be Melinda and Allegra. That's what I said. It's going to be a surprise. So I'm excited to bring them on and they can introduce themselves. All right. Let me bring them up. Perfect. Good morning. Good How morning. are you, Trisha and Brian? Good morning. I love that it's kind of a surprise that I'm not sure who's going to be joining <laughs> us. So welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having us, as always. Well, we are glad that you're here. How's the weather in your area? We have some rain and humidity here. <laughs> you know, the sun's shining, yeah. uh, bright and beautiful, but it's cold. It uh, I think cold. my car said it was 27 degrees. <laughs> it's but cold. I on my way home yesterday. Yes, did you? I was like, I didn't turn my AC on. <laughs> so it was cold. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got out of the car this morning and I'm like trying to hold my umbrella down. This girl has naturally curly hair and rain and humidity does not like me when I curl my hair. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> I feel you on that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, ladies. Well, I'm excited for you to show True Cut products. They are an amazing cutting system. So we'll let you take it away and I'll be in the background if you need me. Awesome, thanks so much. Well, uh, again, I'm Melinda Romero, uh, account executive here at Grace. And, and I'm Allegra Erznosnik, another account executive here. Uh, and we're super excited. Uh, we love our True Cut system. Uh, it's kind of the basis uh, of quilting. Uh, you have to piece your fabric uh, and to you know, begin piecing, you have to cut your fabric. I don't know about you guys. I think that's like the worst part about the whole project cutting okay. fabric yes. what do you think i think so i just it's so tedious sometimes and your shoulders hurt and then your fingers hurt yes and then you're just like oh am i done yet and then you've cut like three pieces <laughs> yes and, and it's you know depending on your project you can have a little bit of fabric or you can have a ton mm -hmm. of fabric uh, so it can be very time consuming uh, but allegra let's ask a question uh, of our audience to get us going <laughs> All right, so if who of you have True Cut, how many of you have used it? Um, and if you have, I want to know what item from the True Cut line you would gift to someone else. That's a great question. I think so too. <laughs> great question. Personally, mine is the 360 Circle Cutter. That's my favorite True Cut item. You know, I love the Quilters Combo uh, because you, you get you know, three items uh, in one bundle. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it's kind of the basis uh, to get you going, get you rocking and rolling. Uh, start with the cutter, start with the ruler, you get the true grips. Uh, it's kind of the basis uh, of mm -hmm. what True Cut offers. Uh, in the True Cut or in the Quilters combo, you get the six and a half by 24 and a half inch ruler. Uh, you get a uh, 45 millimeter My Comfort cutter, and you get a package of True Grips. Uh, you know, so it, it's the basis uh, to get you going. Uh, and then we have so much you can build after that to uh, different size rulers, different cutters. It, you know, the, it, it's really phenomenal what the product line offers. Uh, so let's see. Oh, there we have a quilter yep. combo. <laughs> Tammy Schmier, uh, you and me, great uh, minds think alike. So mm -hmm. yes, I love the quilters <laughs> combo. Uh, yes. Vicki Wagner, uh, she loves the cutter. I love our cutters too. Uh, now I am seeing a few comments. I haven't heard of True Cut or I haven't used it. Well, you're in the right place to learn all about yeah. True Cut. You are in for a morning treat for sure. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, so uh, Allegra, uh, as we're beginning our cutting process, uh, there's kind of uh, again that foundation. Uh, we have our cutting mat. Uh, it's a self-healing three-ply mat. Uh, it has all of your measurements and markings on both sides, but below that. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna scoot in. Aren't they five-ply? 
Oh, yes, yes. you are okay. right. Five ply. <laughs> I was like, hold on. <laughs> so a five ply self healing mat. Uh, again, uh, non slick, uh, very easy to use. Uh, it'll always lay flat. But below the cutting mat, let's take just a quick peek. So we do have we our non-slip pad. So really this is going to be the foundation uh, of our cutting projects. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you can see it's not moving anywhere. <laughs> uh, when we lay our mat on top of it, uh, again, the mat isn't moving anywhere. So it's holding the mat and everything secure in place so you don't have any slip ups. Mm -hmm. So again, Allegra, now that we've talked about the foundation, let's just, I don't know, should we go into the cutters? Let's go into the cutters. I could talk about the cutters for a long time. <laughs> yes, you and me both. So we have the three di or the two different uh, types of cutters. We have our straight cutters, mm -hmm. and we have our comfort cutters. Uh, tell me uh, what your thoughts are between you mm -hmm. know about the difference between the two. Yeah, yeah. So personally, I prefer our comfort cutters over our straight cutters. That's you because, both. yes, <laughs> if anyone's used one of the straight cutters before, whether it's our brand, a different brand, you get a lot of white knuckling, you're bending your fingers back too far, maybe your wrist is like all bent funny because you're trying to get this cutter with the right pressure in the right position you need it to be. Some people prefer them, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always tend to, I'll get a death grip uh, yes, on my handle <laughs> uh, and I'll start feeling a pain in the top of my mm -hmm. thumb mm -hmm. and it goes into my wrist. If I'm cutting a lot of fabric, I just feel that it pain and pressure too. up and my then, arm. Then my lower back starts yes. better and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> yes, so I love the straight cutters for some things, but like you, mm -hmm. I also prefer the comfort cutters. Yeah, I like the straight cutters if I'm doing cutting where I'm going one direction and then like triangles, for example, because they're easy to flip around if you need to when you're using yes. the rulers. These ones, kind of right or left hand specific depending on if you're right or left handed. But if you're like me, or maybe you have joint problems, or maybe you know, you're just getting a little older. Um, for example, my fingers go back so far. And so when I death grip straight cutters, it just instantly hurts. Yes. <laughs> it's like, why did I pick this up? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. This is the 45 millimeter My Comfort Cutter. Fun thing about these ones is they're customizable. These little clear pieces pop out. And then that gives you the ability to customize it. You can leave it with the True Cut. You can put your name on it, put a picture of your cat in there, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I, I love uh, being able to, you know, in a sense, make it yours. Yeah, yeah. So, love it. So, now, you, you, I, you did mention one thing. So you, you very quickly said right or left-handed. Yes. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch one of these around because they're both right-handed. Super easy to do. Kind of get some stuff out of the way here. There is a clip on the back or a little lever, whatever you wanna call it. There we go, right there. You're gonna pull it back and it's gonna drop everything which is nice. It keeps it all consolidated, easy for you to do. You're gonna pull this out by tucking it in and pulling it out. And then on the back, we're just gonna push this out and swap it to the other side. And so we're just gonna put everything back the exact way that it was, but opposite of the way that we pulled it out. There we go. And we're gonna leave the blade guard out just for safety purposes. And then we'll click it back and now we have a left-handed cutter. That is amazing. You made it look so simple. Because it is so simple. <laughs> <laughs> and I imagine when we're changing our blades, we're going to go through that very similar process yes. uh, as well. Yes. Uh, I, and I would say, you know, going to shows, uh, talking to customers, that's probably one of the mm -hmm. most common questions. Yeah, yeah. I'm left-handed, or I know somebody who's left-handed, will it work for them? Uh, and the answer is absolutely yes, yes. And I think that's just so exciting. I feel like <laughs> I'm not left-handed, but I know some left-handed people, and I feel like they feel left out sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, 
Egan, we talked about uh, the straight cutters uh, changing uh, the blade or make, uh, making it right or left-handed. Another common question I'll get with the straight cutter, well, can I make it right or left-handed? Really, it the, is already right or left-handed. It is. Uh, it is. So really, it's just a matter if you're right-handed uh, if you're or if you're going to hold it left-handed, mm -hmm. just swap hands, kind of... Uh, flip it over, uh, and again, you are good to go. Uh, now, I know recently with our straight cutters, uh, we uh, added a new element uh, to help make I the cutter a little bit safer. I love this element, so look at that. Where did the blade? Oh, oh there it, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, maybe it don't swing it back it up? <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? You don't so, have to touch your blade at all when you're changing our straight cutters because there is magnetic there and it'll just stay. That is awesome. He, you know, I'm always so afraid when I, or, you know, I'm afraid when I'm handling my blades, I don't want to cut my fingers. I always seem to do something, you know, that I do cut my fingers. So adding that safety element really just makes it awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and it's nice because then you don't have to, you know, try and like pick it up and, it's scary that way. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, so we've talked about our blades. Uh, what about kind of the longevity of our blades? How do we keep our blades going for us? That's a great question. And I see someone else ask that question if they can be sharpened. And so we do have two blade sharpeners. We have an electric one and we have a manual one. Melinda, which one do you kind of want to maybe demonstrate, talk about? We'll move this stuff over a little bit. All right. You, you know, I love both of the sharpeners mm -hmm. for different reasons. I love having the linear sharpener just on my sewing table, my cutting table, just because it's always gonna be out, easily accessible. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. I need to run uh, my blade through the sharpener a few times while I'm cutting, I can certainly do that right there yeah. very easily. So what I'm hearing is you don't have to take the blade off of your cutter no. to use this one. No. So, That's game changing. <laughs> it is. It is. Now, a lot of people will ask, well, how does it sharpen the blades? Uh, and with both of our sharpeners, uh, we use a diamond grit stone uh, to sharpen the blades. Uh, the diamond grit stones, uh, they will never dull. So they, there's longevity uh, with the sharpener right there. Uh, again, helping you keep the longevity in your blades. Uh, so we're not going to run our blades or our cutter through the sharpener because our blades are already sharp. Uh, but again, once your blades are dull, really the trick is open, take the, the guard, uh, mm -hmm. the blade guard. See, we do have a 60 millimeter right here that doesn't have a ruler guide on it. Okay. So again, we're just going to run the blade through the sharpener. Yes. I recommend... And let's see. I don't know if they can see it, but there is some writing here. Yes. And it says um, sharpening stone side. So their stones are only on one side of the cutter of the sharpener. Yes, yes. So with that being said, uh, you will run your blade through uh, the cutter. Uh, and I would say, what, maybe 15, 20 times or so. Yeah. Run uh, the cutter through, and then you'll pick the sharpener up, rotate it, and then you'll run it through egg in about that 10 to 15, you know, or 15 to 20 times on the other side. So just uh, like our kitchen knives, we wanna make sure that we're sharpening both sides mm -hmm. of the blade. Yes, yes. Now let's say, actually, you know what? Who of you have a mason jar or a box or a stack of used blades that you're holding onto and you're thinking maybe we'll get them sharpened? My I mom see. always had <laughs> A little tin. A little tin. A little tin that had blades. Was it the sugar cookie tins or the shortbread cookie tins? <laughs> it, it was either a cookie or a coffee. Uh, and it very well could have been both. <laughs> 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 so let's see. Where, where do you store all of your let's old see. dull blades? I see a mason blades. jar. Too many of them are paying attention to that special spring word you just saw. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, I'll let you get your spring word in, but I do want to know how many of you are 
hoarding some used rotary cutting blades. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, I always, uh, my mom always said she always felt guilty. She didn't want to just throw them out. Well, they're metal, so you know, it's like, oh. Right. And, and you know, just like uh, a kitchen knife again, a dull blade is going to be the most dangerous mm -hmm. blade. Oh, yeah. Even though it's dull. So. I see uh, in an Altoids tin. A medicine bottle. I use a coffee can. There's a, a comment, are we supposed to save them? Blades can be expensive. They can be expensive. They can yeah. be. It, you know, so I always had kind of that guilt, you know, I'm spending, you know, twenty, thirty dollars or more on on blades at the minimum. Uh, and use them. And then what am I going to do? Just toss them? I know. That doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I want to use them more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's what one of our sharpeners is definitely going to help you out with. But this one, if you have used blades that you're holding on to, or you have a minute to take your blade off of your rotary cutter, this is the one for you. It's um, not battery operated. So you can see here it does have a plug. So it is cord operated. It does have a nice little safety feature on it. So let's say you're sharpening it. It's not gonna pop open on you. You do have to want to open it yes. <laughs> to get it open. So with uh, the electric cutter, <clears throat> again, we can kind of see uh, there's our diamond grit stone on the bottom, uh, but we also have one on top. Mm -hmm. Now, even though technically there's two stones, as you're sharpening the blade, it will only sharpen one side at a time. Uh, and really that second stone, uh, it's designed to kind of help uh, position the blade uh, and keep the perfect kind of pressure uh, as the blade spins uh, once the, the yes. sharpener is so turned on. It's not plugged in, so we're not gonna be sharpening a new blade, but we're going to be able to slide this in here this specific sharpener can accommodate 28, 45, and 60 millimeter blades. Yes. So you're gonna put it in there and you're gonna close it. You wanna make sure it's locked safely. And then there is a button on the back. You're gonna hold it, what, like 20, 30 20, seconds? 30 if necessary. seconds. Yep. So we'll let it go, we'll pretend it's running, and you're gonna open it back up. Super easy peasy. You will get these nice little safety tweezers so you're not having to try and get these out with your hands. There is a nice little lever here as well that will help pop the blade up for you. And then you can sneak those tweezers under there and get it out. Yes. And, and then you do want to rotate the blade uh, and do the same thing. Uh, close mm -hmm. the lid, lock it, uh, and run it again for about 20, 30 seconds. Yep. And then with this magnetic cutter, I can just pick it back up. I don't have to use the tweezers or use my hands. You made it look so easy. Because it is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not just uh, with True Cut products, but with all Grace Company products. I'm amazed at just at how easy everything is to use. Yeah. So I love it. I love it. It was. It, yes. it's, it's great. It's easy to use takes a little bit to get used to. Melinda, tell us about the first time you tried to use the comfort cutter. You know what, I, <laughs> it, again, I always held my cutter with my thumb forward. I would feel the pain and the pressure eventually in the top of my thumb going up into my wrist uh, and then again traveling all the way up my arm. Uh, and when I started with Grace, you know, I saw everybody using the comfort cutter with their index finger. Let's kind of flip that over with their index finger forward, uh, going over kind of that curve uh, in the handle. And, and I just wondered like, why are they holding their cutter that way? How do they have control? You know, how is that going to work for them? Uh, and, you know, I continued uh, the way, you know, I had always done it with my thumb going forward. Uh, and eventually, you know, throughout the day, it's like, okay, my hand is tired, my wrist is tired, I'm tired. But eventually, you know, I tried with my index finger uh, going on that forward arch. I tried it. I uh, wanted to be uh, consistent with it, you know, so it was kind of a mental note of, 
Don't pick up the cutter the old way. Pick <laughs> it up with my yes. index finger forward. Use it that way. Uh, and I'll tell you, it, it was a game changer. I don't get the, the pain and the pressure in my thumb. That's it doesn't good. go into my wrist. It doesn't travel up my arm into my shoulders and my neck. Uh, it's so easy. Now, anytime I pick up a cutter, it, you know, it's just natural. I pick mm -hmm. it up, put my index finger forward, put my thumb. There's kind of a, a little groove uh, and a non-slip kind of area to help you hold it. Uh, but it's just natural to hold it mm -hmm. in this way. It is, yeah. Uh, again, no more pain. Uh, I can very easily and quickly get through all of my whatever cuts uh, I need to make, whether it's a small stack of fabric or a large stack of fabric, very easily get through this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's put one of these bad boys to use so you can see how it works not just us telling you yes. how it works. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit first though we want to talk about, about the, rulers? the rulers. Yes, Be, because they, they technically they work hand in hand together. Now with that being said, you can use our cutters with any other ruler that you may have. Uh, you can also use our, ru our rulers with any other cutter that you may have. Yes. Um, so, but let's talk about how special yes. our, or why our rulers <laughs> yeah. are so special. So our rulers have this lovely little lip on them. Let me angle it correctly for you. If you can see right there, see how they lift up at the top a little bit. This is part of what's called our track and guide system. Now, here we have um, what's called a ruler guide on our cutters. Can be switched out, so if, like Melinda said, if you don't have any of our true cut rulers, but you're really jonesing for this comfort cutter, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> they, it will come with a separate pin that holds the blade in. One will be a ruler guide, one will be for not a ruler guide, so yes. you're good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use one of our rulers with the cutting guide on our cutters, and it locks in so nicely. Look at that. There's no pulling away, there's no tucking under, there's no going over, there's no hurting yourself, <laughs> which is really nice. So yes. I'm gonna demonstrate this for you. Like Melinda said, I am going to put my index finger up in that little groove up there, and I'm gonna rest the rest of my fingers around the cutter. Your other fingers are there for support, but not to do the work for you. And when I say that, don't do this at home, please. <laughs> I mean that I can put the cutter down, lift all my fingers up, and still get a nice precise cut. You, again, you made that look so easy. And that is the wonderful thing about True Cut is it <laughs> is so easy. It, you know, just, I sat, I stood here and watched you. It didn't look like, yes, you applied pressure, mm -hmm. but you weren't like, I'm not, like gung -ho, putting my body weight into it, you, you know, know? <laughs> trying to to get the blade to cut through that fabric. Yeah. Now, granted, this is one layer of fabric, so it, again, pretty simple. But what about when you have multiple layers uh, of fabric? If I remember correctly, you can go up to six layers of fabric, okay. correct? Okay. I think so. <laughs> now, I, I will say, uh, going to shows, cutting demo fabric, just to get through it, uh, fast paced, you know, during our setup, I've probably cut through more layers than probably. six layers of fabric, <laughs> yeah. just to get uh, all our, our little squares cut, so. Mm -hmm. Yes. So let's see this again with me holding it correctly, the safe way, and using our tracking guide system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock that onto there, and then I'm going to hold it just like the way I was before. My fingers are just resting for the support, and then I'm going to cut. And there we go. That is amazing, truly, truly uh, amazing. I know, uh, again, you know, just going back to when I first started with Grace uh, and, you know, holding the cutter the way I'd always held it before. Mm -hmm. uh, and then seeing and, and watching everybody else hold it differently, I was like, why are they doing that? Why, why am I yeah, holding yeah. it this way? <laughs> why, you know, why does my wrist hurt my, you know, just, there has to be a better way. Uh, and True Cut truly, truly yes. gives you that yes. better way. I am seeing someone saying they're left-handed and they don't think they can use it. You can. So here we have this cutter set up in the left-handed um, configuration. Um, I'm not left-handed, but I can do some things left-handed. So if you're a lefty, take a watch. 
So not perfect, because I'm not left-handed, but even not being left-handed, didn't that look pretty simple? It did, it did. And really, you know, we, we watched you change the blade uh, from a right to a left-handed side. Mm -hmm. it, it really is that easy. Uh, now, I did see a, a question, uh, probably a couple of questions pop up going back to the sharpeners. Uh, can the sharpener sharpen any blade? Technically, yes. Uh, if you have uh, a titanium or any otherwise coated blade, uh, you will need to sharpen, you know, run it through the sharpener a few more times or a little bit longer than 30 seconds uh, in the electric, but it will sharpen those blades. Yes. It doesn't take all kinds of blades, though. It's not just our brand specifically, but it does matter what the hole in the middle of the blade looks like. Some of them are just um, a regular circle, nothing special about it. Our blades have this tri-wing design in the middle, and that is what's necessary. If you have blades and they don't have a tri-wing design, they're not gonna work in our electric sharpener. Right. Or in, or in our cutters. You don't have to use our brand of blades for the cutters if you're buying new ones, but they do need to have that tri-wing design in the middle so it can work properly. Yes, yes. All right, so it, again, I know uh, cutting, uh, especially with my long cuts. Uh, Allegra, I always tend to veer uh, and go inwards mm -hmm. uh, as I'm extending uh, and getting kind of the length of my cut. Uh, I'm either nicking my rulers, uh, I've had a few close calls with my fingers, thankfully I've never, you know, butchered them too bad, um, but I know some people uh, will veer outwards uh, onto veer outwards their, their fabric. Uh, and I know the frustration uh, of either or, you don't want to veer outwards because you're wasting fabric. Fabric is expensive. So expensive. <laughs> it, you know, so with that uh, lovely track uh, and guide system, uh, again, the cutter will just marry right on that track. Uh, and again, you're just, you're locked on there, only going forwards or backwards. Mm -hmm. Again, no more veering, uh, no more nicking your rulers or your fingers, no more wasting fabric. Someone is asking for a close-up of our tri-wing designs. Bryant, thank you. There we go, you kind of see has a notch here, a notch down there, and a notch over here. That's what's called the tri-wing design. So that's what it looks like, there you go. Oh no, Kim N, she says, don't ask me, but I cut my forearm and had stitches. Your forearm? You're, <laughs> you're right, we, we won't ask, uh, but it, you know, our blades, uh, they can be very dangerous. Uh, and you know, with the true cut system, easy, accurate, and safe. Uh, so safe. You, you know, that's really what you want uh, from your cutting system. So, so we've talked about our cutters. We've talked a little bit, just a, a tad bit uh, about our rulers. We've yeah. talked about our sharpeners, but I do kind of want to go uh, in uh, a little bit more uh, with our rulers. I would love to as well. That comment about our small ruler that's available in our True Cut Travel Kit and our Quilt Perfect Ruler Kit. No, that's what it's called? Yeah, yes. Quilt Perfect Ruler Kit. <laughs> My brain was like <laughs> um, No No coffee yet this morning, right? I know, I like two we're sips. we're right, right along the same lines as Trisha. So that's I go, right. okay, it's early. We need coffee. Oh, yeah. But so. that ruler is not available by itself, only in those two kits. Yes, yes. Now, with uh, our rulers, so yes, we talked about uh, the guide system. All of our rulers across the board have the tracking guide system. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have tons of different sizes. We have so many. And I think you and I remember them all. We could honestly just run through them. Yes. <laughs> so our largest ruler is our 24 and a half by 6 and a half ruler. And then we have a six and a half by 12 and a half and a six and a half by nine and a half. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then we have a 12 and a half square, a nine and a half square, and a six and a half square. We have also our three by 18. Mm -hmm. And then we have three triangle rulers, which yes. I think are super fun because they give you like all the triangle angles that you could need. We have an equilateral, a right angle, and what we call our kite ruler to give you um, those 180 degree, 90 degree angles, all of those. And, and you know, I would say like way back when, uh, when I would help my mom uh, and my aunties and, and grandma quilt, 
we, that's where I started cutting. That was always kind of, Melinda, you know, help cut fabric and, it, you know, just be careful, don't cut yourself. Um, but I remember, you know, just the patterns uh, that they would quilt, you know, and I struggled so much anytime I had to, uh, you know, create the points. Uh, and we're talking, you know, well before uh, I knew anything about Grace Company or in True Cut, you know, many, many years ago. Uh, but the tools, you know, they've come a long way, but at the same time, you know, they're still kind of true uh, to the roots. Um, but, it, you know, they're game changers. Uh, our rulers, uh, so many different options uh, to help, you know, help you be more creative. Uh, but again, you know, taking it a step further and adding the element uh, of easy, accurate, and safe. Yes. So. Yes. Now, what's something, What what is on the bottom of this ruler, Melinda? I don't think they can see it, but. You know, we, we missed talking about our true grips. So, yes, we have our true grips. Uh, if we didn't have true grips on our rulers, look how easy, uh, you know, that ruler is sliding yes. on yes. our mat. <laughs> uh, when we, all of our rulers up here today uh, do have our true grips. Yes. When we uh, place the true grips, uh, different areas uh, across the back side of the ruler, it helps stabilize that ruler. So you're not going to get the slippage, mm -hmm. it, you know, that can easily happen uh, as we're positioning our rulers oh, yeah. with our fabric mm -hmm. and, you know, just trying to get through uh, the lot of fabric that we need to yeah. cut. It, you know, so just that security uh, working with the mat to help hold that ruler mm -hmm. in place. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but one of my biggest frustrations when cutting is getting it perfectly lined up and then I move. Yes. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, I just spent so much time doing that. Look yes. at this. The fabric is coming with the ruler. So even if you move the ruler, you're still going to be lined up where you need to be. And you don't have to go through that frustration of having to reset it again. Yes. And you don't have to put as much pressure on there because the true grips are also holding onto the fabric. Whereas sometimes I know people who use like five pound weights or something to hold mm -hmm. them down or they have those suction cups and they like put them on the ruler and then they're like really holding them down. You yes. don't need to do that. Cause <laughs> it just, just some light pressure and look at that. Yep. So, and again, yes, we, uh, you, you can see that it, yes, it can move. Uh, but again, you, you know, working with the mat, uh, with your fabric, there's going to be less chance uh, of slippage, uh, which uh, is going to give you less chance of cutting yourself, nicking your rulers, uh, cutting uh, into uh, your excess fabric. You don't want to do those things. So mm -hmm. definitely every, all, of, all of the products that TrueCut offers really, truly works hand in hand mm -hmm. together. Yeah, they do, and it's great. <laughs> or separately. Uh, again, we've mentioned before, if you uh, are interested in one of our cutters or interested in a ruler, but you don't quite yet want to switch everything out uh, at your cutting station, we totally get that. Start with one, start with the other, continue, you know, use what you have, uh, but eventually, you know, give yourself the chance, uh, you know, marry uh, the two items together, again, the cutter with the ruler, and really just see how they're going to work. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. I love them. I did see a question about the size cutters that we have. Yes. So in straight cutters and comfort cutters, we have a 28, a 45, and a 60 millimeter. So those are all available in the straight and the comfort cutters. Yes, yes. And, and you know, I love how easy, uh, again, changing our blades, um, sharpening our blades. Uh, but if at any time, if we decide we need a new blade, uh, yes, we sell uh, replacement blades yes. as well. Uh, and those can, are everything that we've talked about uh, is available uh, with sewing parts online, uh, not just uh, for so creative, uh, but all the time. So yes, we and love now it. I would like to talk about my favorite true cut product that we have. I guess one of my favorites, but this is the 360 circle cutter. Melinda, what does this do? It cuts perfect circles. Perfect circles. Perfect. Uh, I've, again, you know, growing up uh, helping uh, my mom and aunties and grandma, 
I don't want to say it circles were a big thing uh, with what we wanted to do because they were always so hard. If you're using mm -hmm. scissors, you'd get the little notches uh, around you know, the curve of the circle uh, and they were just hard. <laughs> it's like, why would we want to do that? So I know growing up circles were never, uh, it, I, yes, I will say never in any of the projects we ever did. <laughs> yeah, and now they are an easy possibility for you with the 360 circle cutter. It can make circles up from, from two up to 12 inches. Right now, we're gonna do it, I think we're gonna do a six inch circle. And you'll notice that I'm just, I twisted this to unlock it so I could move it, and then I'm gonna twist it again just to lock it into place. Now, I do want to show you some special features about that one. So, this has what's called um, just like a pin in there. What it does is it holds, make sure that it keeps this cutter center on your fabric when you put it down. Nothing's worse than making a circle and then it's not a circle. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, here's this pin I'm talking about. You can see it pop up when I press that down. Do, do, do. Look at that. So nice. Okay. And just while we're in here, sorry, Brian. <laughs> You can kind of see it, but look at that really small blade that we have in there. Yes, so that right is what's going to cut the here. fabric. Perfect. So I have it set for a six inch circle. I'm going to place it down and I'm going to hold um, that pin down that goes into the fabric with my non dominant hand. So I am right handed, so that's why I'm going to hold it down with my left hand. And then I'm just going to back this up just a little bit just so I can get my full range of motion here. You'll notice that this knob twists and this knob twists. That is to help you get this perfect circle without having to do much acrobatics with your arms. Yes, <laughs> so. and I will say, if you can complete in a single rotation, your circles will come out a lot they better. They will come out a lot better, which is why you see I'm kind of starting a little bit back here so that I can get this all the way around. So I'm gonna put my right hand, which is my dominant hand, over my left arm, and I'm gonna grab on, I'm gonna push really hard on this. And then we're just gonna twist it. Again, you made that look so easy. I could use, I could cut circles for hours if you'd let me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I saw a question, uh, what range of, or what range size circles uh, can be cut? Uh, and again, with the circle cutter, that range will be uh, between two inches up to 12 inches. Yes, so you get a lot of versatility with it. Yes. Uh, another question, can you get replacement blades for the circle cutter? Uh, and the answer is yes. Uh, so the circle so cutter... That one wasn't as successful, but... <laughs> <laughs> the circle cutter technically will use our 28 millimeter blade, but it comes in a cartridge. Yes. So you don't ever have to, you know, try to willy-nilly mess uh, with the blade uh, and trying to get it into a perfect position because that the cartridge already has the blade in that perfect okay. position for you. I think I can you. get a two-inch circle out of this, so <laughs> we're going to show you guys the small circles because I like them. They're cute. I think small circles are a little bit harder. <laughs> they are harder, as you noticed. Oh, and look, I'm grabbing the fabric. Melinda, will you help me out here? Yes. Probably shouldn't have done it in an already used piece of fabric, but... Okay, we did it, there we go. There's a little tail because I grabbed the fabric, but look at that. Look how tiny it's, and cute that circle is. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. I can think of so many fun things uh, that we can use the circles for. So, uh, Halloween, we can do pumpkins. Uh, Christmas, uh, we can do uh, the balls, uh, ornaments. <laughs> um, berries, uh, you know, for different yes. things. So much fun. The circle cutter can cut more than just cotton fabric. Really, it just depends on the thickness of the fabric. Because the blade is that 28 millimeter blade, you don't get a lot of depth in there. Mm -hmm. So, just as long as it's not some seriously thick fabric, you're going to be able to use these just fine. Yes. I wouldn't recommend you know, like leather, uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, that's going to be a bit thick. Uh, but again, you can still cut uh, a few layers of fabric. I'd say maybe three, four if you're pushing it. Probably, uh, yeah. I'll say to between two and four uh, to be safe. Um, but again, just be mindful of the thickness of the fabric. Yes. Yes. Now, my other favorite product. 
is right next to Melinda. <laughs> yes, this is our travel kit. I love the travel kit. Uh, I love the bag uh, of the travel kit, but like Allegra, I love everything that's inside the travel kit. Uh, so let's, uh, you know, looking at uh, the travel kit, we have a very durable, well-designed handle. Uh, the travel kit also comes uh, with a shoulder strap. Uh, the casing, it, it's not like super, super hard, uh, but it's hard enough to add protection mm -hmm. for all of the contents uh, that are inside. And just look how nice that bag looks. It's so sleek, it's so clean, yes. it's so fun. Yes, so without further ado, let's take yes. a look Let me get this uh, stuff inside. out of your way. All right, move my little block that was holding it up. I love these so much, I asked for one for Christmas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so we oh open it up uh, and there's goodies uh, inside. There's so many goodies. First one I wanna start with is this cutting mat. It's an eight by 10, only available in True Cut Travel Kit. But look how cute that is. It's so small and look at that thickness as well. So it's just like our regular cutting mats. Uh, so again, it's still uh, the five ply, it's still a self-healing uh, mat. Uh, you have mm -hmm. all of your measurements, all of your markings, all of your numbers. Uh, and again, it's just a perfect travel size. Oh, is it so cute? <laughs> I don't know if you have ever had, you know, tried to take your cutting mats, I don't know, to Quilt Guild or, you know, anywhere else that you might be taking them. They're big, they're bulky, they're kind of heavy. They don't always fit uh, in the places or that you like want me, them to you fit. You pick them up and you make them do that wobble noise. Like, wobble, wobble, wobble. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, again, perfect size, you know, to uh, be able to take with you anywhere. So, again, we're starting mm -hmm. uh, kind of with the foundation, uh, with the cutting mat uh, inside. Uh, you do have a package of True Grips. They might be in here. Back in there. Did I miss them? They get tucked in here sometimes. I don't know. Maybe they're not in here anymore. <laughs> this has gone through a lot of use, guys. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, but the kit comes with uh, the mat, uh, a package of True Grips. And then look oh, at this. We, we had a couple of comments uh, about this ruler already. Uh, but I'm it's correct. I think it is a three by six. I would say a three. I would agree. Or a three by eight, maybe. Sorry, it's a three by eight. Yes. <laughs> yes. So again, very uh, cute ruler. Uh, again, easily uh, perfect size to be able to manage uh, whether it, you know you're. I don't know. Maybe in a car. Maybe you're taking a train. I probably wouldn't recommend uh, taking all of the contents of the travel kit uh, through TSA at the airport. They'll probably um, take your seam ripper. They'll <laughs> probably take your scissors. <laughs> yes, they'll pro uh, they will take uh, your they'll cutter. Take your comfort cutter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but uh, again, perfect travel size to be on the go. Yes. Now let's, what are some of the stuff in here? I love these. We have a pencil pack, you will get. There we go. So you get some marking pencils, blue, white, and then a regular pencil. Super helpful. This is probably one of my favorite things from this kit. What does that look like to everyone? Everyone remember slap bracelets? I hope so. <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what this is, is this holds your pins. Look at that, slaps on your wrist. You don't have to slap it, but it's not a slap bracelet if you don't, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> gotta make it fun. You will get pins, it'll come in a pack of 50, and look at that. That's just, I, I don't know about you guys, not even a, you know in a car, uh, but just in my sewing room, I lose pins left and right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, where did that pin go? They, where did my pin cushion go? Yes, they get lost so easily. My mom's a knitter and if she, after she finishes, she usually blocks something. And so every once in a while, I will find a pin like either in the edge of the carpet or something. I've never stepped on one before. Thank good, that would But they hurt. get lost, <laughs> they do. <laughs> yes, yes. I would equate it to ponytail holders. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I always find, 
you know, just a random ponytail I holder in my house. I never find them. Yeah. So it, again, I love uh, the bracelet uh, with the magnetic pin holder. Uh, in the kit, uh, you have this awesome seam ripper. Uh, so I used to always think, well, isn't a seam ripper a seam ripper and a seam ripper? It doesn't matter, you know, who made it uh, or whatnot. They're all still the same. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes and no. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, not every product uh, is made equally. Uh, but I love our seam ripper. Uh, it has uh, the awesome little cap, uh, so, you know, so you don't poke yourself and, you know, you can store it easily. Uh, but it has, uh, you know, just... It's not like an eraser You end. can't... I, I know it's hard uh, to see, uh, and you can't obviously feel it through the camera. Pretend you can feel it. But it, it has... It makes it so you can easily kind of move your fabric if you need to. It'll grab it, mm -hmm. uh, but or not if you've cinch the it. Seams and they're just not coming out. Yes, that's what that is for too. Is to help you kind of erase those stitches that you have ripped. Yes. So again, and, and I love kind of just the the size uh, of the seam rubber. Yes. I've used skinny little seam rubbers, and they are hard to hold. They are, but. Really, again, you have to hold it, you have to feel it to really appreciate just the size of it. Again, it's not too big, it's not too small, has a perfect weight, so it's easy to, to hold and manage. I love this seam rubber. I do too, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, and who would, like, who would have ever thought I'd be so excited about a seam rubber, but. I mean, who would have thought we'd be so excited about rotary cutting? <laughs> true. That is very true. Yes. So what else uh, do we have uh, in this awesome package, I'm Allegra? Gonna turn this around. So you do get a sharpener for your marking pencils, which is fun, you know, because you got to be able to sharpen your pencil somehow. Yes, right? yes. I'm going to tuck those back in there. Okay, we also get scissors. Oh my gosh, where's the camera? Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Some scissors. I have used these, and I think they are wonderful. Yes. I really enjoy them. You know, uh, when I took my travel kit home uh, and oh I gosh, saw you have one too? Yes, I have yeah. one too. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? I like don't it, know. Has, <laughs> it has everything you need and want. Why wouldn't I? But when I took my travel kit home, I came home one day uh, and my husband had these scissors. And I was like, babe, what are you using those scissors for? <laughs> you said you're not for? using those on paper, right? Put those back. Put those back. <laughs> don't ever touch them again. <laughs> <laughs> You're banned from the travel kit. <laughs> yes, don't use them. <laughs> so love the scissors, uh, great quality. They stay sharp uh, and do, yeah. you know, they're kind of the perfect size. They are. Um, yeah, so I love yes. them. You also get the 28 millimeter straight cutter. Look at that, so nice. I, of all the straight cutters, I think the 28 millimeter is my favorite. I would agree as yes. well. I don't feel like I'm fighting it as much when I fight with straight cutters. No. And it's just so cute and small and compact. It's really easy to use and maneuver as well. Yes. Yes. You also get a cute little pattern as well. So if you want to make a block or a pin cushion, this is a postage stamp pin cushion. And I think that's so cute. It is super cute. You know, we uh, had a plan uh, to demo kind of cutting and, and making this pin uh, at least not sewing it because we don't have a, a <laughs> sewing machine here with us, but at least piecing it together. Yes. Uh, but we're running a little shorter on time than we anticipated, so maybe next time yes. you we'll be able to kind of go through. How long you can talk about True Cut. Yes. It, well, there's so many awesome, yes. awesome yes. products. There is one more nice little feature here in this um, True Cut Travel Kit. We did plan <laughs> Yep. So <laughs> to... Um, and it's paper, so it's not going to hold as well. But we did plan to put this together a little bit with you. But look how nice that is. I, we put it in there last night, and it, even though it was paper, it held pretty much exactly where we need it to yes. be. Yes. Now, this isn't just a brown nothing. It's a gritty paper, so kind of like a sand paper. Yes. Uh, so think about it. If you're traveling uh, and you are cutting fabric uh, and you uh, are, you know, getting ready to piece some fabric. Yes, look at that. 
that sandpaper, that grittiness, really just kind of holds that fabric in place. Then you have your handy dandy pins uh, yes. to be able to start pinning your project you uh, together. We so it, again, it just makes it super, yes. super simple. All right, and what is the back of this, Melinda? So uh, here, uh, it's if we need to uh, have just that solid flat surface, if we uh, need to pin uh, anything directly to it, it's, I don't want to say it's super soft, uh, but it's not super hard either. Uh, but it, again, it's just like, uh, I don't want to say a cork board, but it, you know, just somewhere where you can easily, mm -hmm. if you need to pin something so it doesn't, you know, fall between the car seat or wherever you may happen to be, it, it can hold it into place right on Which that board. Which is so nice and fun because it's just super easy. And then you could close it up if you wanted to. Like yes, I think and it's just everything's so nice. going to stay right uh, in place. Uh, so. Morgan Horton looks like something that would be great out at camp. I totally agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, and I did see uh, a, a question, would a tablet fit inside? I would probably say yes. Yeah. It's yeah. a little bigger than 8 by 10, so yeah. Yeah. So as long as you, you don't have a super huge tablet, uh, by all means, yes, uh, a tablet would fit. Yes. Um, now, Thinking about all of the questions, uh, all of the products uh, we've talked about, there was uh, one question. Somebody wanted to see uh, kind of the lines uh, that are on the rulers. So let's take a peek. We'll just look uh, at these two. So yes, all of our rulers are marked. Uh, you have your inch increments, your half inch, your quarter inch. Uh, again, you can see all of the measurements. Uh, one question uh, that comes up often is why do our rulers have holes? So when you think about it, you know, if you're cutting fabric, if you're measuring fabric, most rulers you can't mark inside, you, you know, you can't mark your fabric from inside the ruler. You have to do it from the outside. With the holes, uh, you can easily make markings on your fabric uh, and then you know make all your markings have the ability to line up your marketing markings uh, and then of course make a cut yes and it's so. also nice because it makes it a little bit easier to see your fabric mm -hmm. and if ever needed it gives you the ability to hold your fabric as well yes yes so uh, i know we we talked about a ton of different projects or products um, to help you with your projects, yes. um, but it, you know it just boils down to there's so many so much awesomeness uh, with TrueCut, uh, and again we are providing the tools to help uh, with your creativity. Um, it, you know, so bring your creativity out to the forefront. Uh, if you haven't used TrueCut before, I highly encourage trying it. Oh, me too. So. It is. A literal game changer. <laughs> yes, and, and if again, if you haven't tried True Cut, I would guarantee you have a friend or a family member, somebody out there that you know uh, that has used True Cut and they love it. So, yes, yeah, I love it. <laughs> yes, my grandma still has one of our original comfort cutters. That's wow. how much she loved it. <laughs> that has to be ancient. Uh, yes. Our, I know our cutters, I don't even know how long our cutters have been around, uh, but it's funny, people will take phone calls uh, and somebody will need something for a cutter and it's like, okay, well, which cutter do you which have? do you have? How old is it? How long yeah. have you had it? And, and a really fun thing is that all of our cutters have a lifetime warranty. Yes, yes. So, I mean, what more? can you ask for I so don't know. I awesome don't know. product uh products uh awesome warranty uh sewing parts online uh, will have our full uh array uh, of products not just now but always so. <laughs> you just called my grandma ancient melinda oh i did not <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> So, all right well trisha uh let's uh go ahead and bring you back in 
Yes, we love yes. True Cut products. <laughs> yes. All right. So I know there were tons of comments uh, going through, and, and I'm sure we probably didn't get all of the questions. Did you happen to see any questions that maybe we didn't answer? There were a couple that you did answer, but uh, they were shown a little late to the party. So I just want to touch on them okay. one more time really quickly. Um, one was, how long does the sharpener last? Okay, so again, they're diamond grit stones uh, that are inside the sharpener. Uh, so we know, uh, just from science class, diamonds are, are going to be the hardest, you know, material uh, on earth. Uh, so with the diamond grit stone, uh, really they shouldn't uh, ever dull. Uh, and really they should last a lifetime. Uh, of either of the sharpeners, I would imagine probably the motor in the electric sharpener may give out before the actual sharpening stones do. Um, but again, that would be you know years and years of use. Yes, perfect. <laughs> and that and was basically them. for all of our products. Like we said earlier, our cutting mats are five ply double sided and self healing. You are going to have these for a long time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we definitely are going to have to have you back to do more True Cut products and see that block being made. Brian and I were just chit-chatting saying, I think we have to have a solo event. What do you guys think? <laughs> yes, I, I, we would love it. So we'll, we'll get together uh, after, I don't know, um, next week we'll be at VDTA. Um, but I, I'll see Jeremy next week. Uh, I don't know who else will be with him. Uh, but you and I uh, will have to catch up the following week and we'll get something planned. Sounds good. We were also going to say we are so excited. We got our 16X Elite and the Evolution Hoop Frame in here. We're like, we should do like a video call or do a, a live with you and walk through us learning how to use that and you guys showing yes. us what to do. So I think that'd be super I fun, would. But. I would love it. I would love it. So let's plan it. <laughs> uh, okay, sounds good. Well, do you guys want to stick? You can be losers, set me free.